Hey, uh, we're having a look at uh, the genre of the film, uh, modernist, German expressionist, science fiction, dystopian film. We're just going to have a quick look at modernism. So just to go through the um, what is modernism or the modernist thinking. It's a break with the past. It's new forms of expression. Ideas are based on science, technology, uh, education. And I suppose one of the reasons why people were looking at these new things, plus uh, modernism and, and the, the idea of machinery and technology being very important is because of the, the massive uh, shift in uh, use of technology uh, because of World War One, and basically as soon as World War One finishes all those factories that were used to build armaments and bombs they start being used to build uh, fridges and washing machines or whatever things are actually invented back then. Um, so, how this is reflected in the film, uh, the, the opening montage, which basically reflects everything that, that the film's got, uh, but there is the juxtaposition of the technology um, and, you know, the, the wonderful utopian ideals of, of what technology can do. It can build a wonderful city, it can keep pistons pumping, it can make things happen. But this is quickly quickly juxtaposed with uh, the, the plight of the workers and how dehumanised they are and, and really brings home that this technology can actually lead to, you know, a dystopia and a really sort of negative form of uh, government and, and using the people in your society. Um, the montage of uh, the machinery at the start of the film uh, really, certainly in a cinema, is, is supposed to give the audience this sense of ceaseless power and the machine just churning and churning and churning. And that's also reflected a little later on uh, with Freda and her, his vision. Um, so... <clears throat> Here it is. Uh, the fear of the machines and technology um, is the, the transformation of the M machine into uh, Moloch. Okay, the, the machine is the god. The people are actually worshipping this machine. And I know this is just a surrealistic vision from Freda, okay, but um, it, it's certainly a statement that uh, Lang is making that, you know, the Moloch and the machine is a constant demand for workers and sacrifice and victims. Okay. Uh, Throughout the film, the machine is omnipotent. It is everywhere. It is uh, to be feared. Okay, and not just the M machine and, and this industrial society that we don't know what they make, but just keeps on going. Uh, there's also the robot. Here it is. Um, so basically, Rotwang's statement: you know, a machine in the image of man that never tires or makes a mistake. Okay, this is society's greatest fear of machines, and we still have it now when we look at robots and go, "Oh, they're going to take our jobs." and all that kind of stuff. Um, this this prototype for machine men it, it illustrates the, the fear of not being able to keep a job because all these people have just moved from the country where they used to work on farms over the last 50 years. The uh, demography, demography, you know that thing, demography, yeah, demography of, um, you know, people have moved from rural to urban societies and now they're worried that all these jobs they move there for aren't going to be there. Um, so while modernism saw an embrace of these ideas, okay, Lang really expresses that the fear of this machine and this mistrust of the machines, and uh, and that's that's basically what Lang is is presenting. He wants us to be a bit more human, and and look at that, and and I suppose when we look at the end of the film. You know, the mediation between the hearts and the hands and the heads, okay, it comes down to people in the end, not the machines.